and this is a quick video explaining how to solve equations like we did in class. So the first step when you need to solve an equation is to get the letter parts on one side of the equation and the number parts on the other. So here we've got a letter part, a number and another number. So the first step is to move this number over to the other side. And like we said in class, whenever it moves to the other side, it will change the sign. So because it's a plus on this side, it will change to a minus on the other side. So the next line we'd write out is 3p equals minus 1 minus 5. Okay, now minus 1 minus 5 we can work out. It's uh, minus 6. And then finally, to get what p is, we divide minus 6 by 3. And that's because on this side, 3p means 3 times, or 3 multiplied by p. So the opposite of times in is dividing. And when we work that out, minus 6 divided by 3, when you divide a negative number by a positive, the answer is negative. So p would be minus 2. In this example then, we'll do it exactly the same, but we've got um, an extra bit that we need to deal with. So again, we want, we've got a letter part. We've got a letter part here. We've got another letter part here. And then we've got two numbers. So the first step is, I'm going to move this letter part over so it's on this side. So uh, when it moves over, it'll change from minus x to plus x. So I'm going to write 4x plus x. That 4 is still there, plus 4 equals 9. Then what I want to do is I want to move the 4, because it's a number, move it over to the number side. And when it moves over, it'll change to minus, because plus changes to minus. So on this side, I'm going to have 4x plus x. And on this side, I'm going to have 9 take away 4. So if we simplify that then, 4x plus x gives us 5x. And 9 take away 4 gives us 5. So to get what x is, we have to divide the number by the number that's stuck in front of the x's. So 5 divided by 5. How many 5's are in 5? Just 1. So the answer is x equals 1.